On our segment today, folks, I got another acquisition here recently. Something that I've always kind of kept my eye on. You don't see many of these. I wouldn't say they're rare, but many of them didn't make it. And this is the K38 telephone trailer. Now, this one particularly, um, off the data plate, the, um, was put into service August 28, 1944. So it almost missed the war, but I'm sure it saw action somewhere. But as you can see, uh, it's all original inside here. And again, it's not been restored. This is where the Signal uh, Corps folk kept all of their wire, their tools, and they pulled it behind a Jeep all across the country. And this was mainstay. They used this as part of their equipment in order to make sure that uh, landline telephones were ran, uh, radio equipment could be fixed. Um, anything that had to do with signal equipment during World War II, most of the time at the unit level, uh, this was able to be out there and the signal folks could use it to fix anything pretty much that needed to be done. Except when they wanted to send it back to direct support maintenance, which was the big shop uh, in the rear. Um, this was more of a field repair facility uh, and they would come to you and make sure that they could fix the stuff on site. So again, this is a K38, a uh, little bitty tires here. Again, these are our original. Uh, I'm going to restore this, but I wanted you all to see it. So if you see one out there, uh, grab it, okay? Especially if it's all complete and unmolested like this one is. You can see the tongue on the front uh, and all of that. Uh, items, and all original on this one, even uh, even all the hinges and all of that sort of stuff is all original. So again, the K38 uh, telephone trailer uh, pulls right behind a, a 1943 GPW Ford Jeep, or an MB for that matter, uh, during World War II.